Hello everybody, this is Jandy the Artsy Rose and welcome to the Ever After Story with Skeletona. Uh, well, let's begin. <sighs> I wonder if any teriyaki chickens will be showing up. <laughs> we've already seen number one, I, I mean we've already seen number two, I wonder if we'll run into number three or number one. <laughs> I don't think so. Although, we ran into Skeletona and Jean's uh, event story. I, I guess it's only fair. Uh, uh, you never know. Happy Ever After Part 1 with Skeletona. One night, I was gazing up at the moon together with Skeletona as its light shone down upon us. Jandy, aren't you cold? I'm fine, thanks. It is particularly cold tonight. As he said it, Skeletona smiled and wrapped an arm around my shoulders. The moon is huge again tonight. When I first arrived in Nibelheim, all I did was stare up at this moon. Its gentle light bathed me in its glow when I had lost all of my memories. And since then, Skeletona. I nuzzled against his bone chest, his breastbone, his breastbone. You mean rib cage? By the way, did you know that a rabbit lives in the moon? I didn't know. There's a rabbit up there? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. The image was such a cute one that I couldn't help but giggle. It, it is no lie matter. I believe in the mystical tales of the East Moon. Well, there are such tales. What's this one? Warning me that it was a slightly sad tale, he started to tell it to me. Long ago, a monkey, a fox, and a rabbit came across an old man on the mountains who had collapsed. The three of them thought about how they could help him. The monkey gathered fruits, and the fox caught fish from the river. And they gave them to the old man for food. However, the rabbit could not catch any food, no matter how hard it tried. No matter how hard he tried, lamenting his own powerlessness, the rabbit wanted to help the old man. So he got the monkey and the fox to help him build a fire. Then he leaped into the fire to offer his own body as food. Seeing this, the old man relieved his, revealed his true nature as that of a god. In order to pass on the tale of the rabbit's act of compassionate self-sacrifice to future generations, he sent the rabbit up to the moon. That is how the story goes. See, it's a sad story, is it not? Why would the god do something like that? It's so cruel. What? Don't you think that the rabbit threw himself into the fire, and on top of that... He was marooned alone on the moon. Poor thing. You're so kind, Jandy. In the East, such moral lessons are often regarded as showing virtue. Seeing how melancholy I was feeling, Skeletona reached out and stroked my hair. I'm sorry. It was just a story. No, it seems that I chose an inappropriate story for a romantic evening. His rose turned purple, and then... Hey! You two! We're going to the moon! A man suddenly appeared on the balcony and pulled Skeletono and I apart. How alarming! I cannot permit you to separate me from Jandy! Skeletono stood tall and turned to face the man. Hmm. Well, uh... Hold on. 